Alrighty, let's take a look at a simpler song today. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day, drummed by Keith Moon's secret love child, Trey Cool. Trey comes in with the drum fill starting technically on beat four. So that, let me let me play the drum fill, or show you the drum fill without the little technical bit called a drag, which we'll go over in a second. So you can play this version if you find the drag too difficult. Uh, this is the main part of the fill really. Starts on beat four, three notes in a row, four E ands, right, left, right, snare, high, floor, snare drum, high tom, floor tom, like that. So the drum fill without the drag is Four E and four E and really simple idea. Let me play that bar without the drag. It sounds like this: one and two and three and four E and. You could also play a buzz. And this is what I used to do when I was younger, when I first started playing drums. Before I could play double strokes and stuff like that, I used to just push the stick into the drum. It's like create a little. It's called a buzz roll. It's not technically a double stroke. It's a buzz roll. And what you do is you let the stick bounce as many times in a small small space as possible and it creates that zzz, which kind of sounds like a double if you're not sure what you're listening to. There's the double version, there's the buzz version. Very, very similar and can't really be tell, um, told apart. So if you haven't learned your double stroke roll yet and how to play doubles, then you can play the buzz instead. Just simply push the stick, not too hard, but firmly into the, into the drum and then you play the right, left, right after it or just leave out the buzz and double stroke completely and just play 40 and up to you how you play it. So slowly the drum beat is this. One and two and three and four and Drum Beat 101 from your um, beginner's guide to drumming. Uh, I'm sure you all know this drum beat. If you don't, then get it learned because it's an incredibly popular and um, reoccurring drum beat that occurs in a lot of different kind of types of songs and music, of course, including this one. One and two, three and four. Da, 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 da. Ugh. Wrong song. So one and two and three and four and like that. So you don't want to be overplaying this and saying that this is what Trey does really well. He's very good at swallowing his ego and just playing for the song 100%. Um, you don't get Trey showing off a lot. Well, not drum-wise. He likes to show off personally with, with, with his face and all that, but um, certainly not with his drum parts. He keeps that rock solid and keeps it um, focused on the music, which is a, a really good lesson for all us drummers, including myself. I always overplay. Anyway, chorus drum beat. Now, a bit of technique with the hi-hat foot. Um, I see a lot of beginner drummers do this. Don't lift the whole leg off the pedal like you're going to fall off the drum kit. Because that's usually what happens. You try and lift the whole leg off, you're unbalanced on your drum stool. It's good technique for double bass drumming for, uh, and, and obviously for using your hi-hat foot as well to try and keep um, yourself balanced on your stool. And that requires um, 
and the correct foot technique. And for the hi-hat, it definitely works better if you keep your heel on the floor and just raise the front of your foot up enough for the hi-hats to open. One, and two, and three, and four, E, and a one. A bit faster now. One, and two, and three, and four, E, and one. And up to speed. One final point before we go on to the last bar of that line. Um, I notice that when Trey plays this song live, he likes to add extra stuff in. No, really? Yes, yes he does.